Oh, it's more. Actually, you know what? That may help. Yeah, if you can get off live, so I'm so my tiles are right there. Let's see. I'll log on. Oh, we need a Yeah, it's working, so that's good. It's good. I'll do my tour. I'll give people a couple seconds to log on. That is a beautiful display tank. Wow, look at the TV. Gorgeous. Get all your CCAM products. Check this guy's out. Yo, Jack, what's going on, man? I am still sorry I stiff you, Jack, and I haven't sent you that invoice for those <laughs> leathers yet. But as you can see, we're in Chicago right now, and we are at Tank It Easy, and this place is absolutely incredible, and we're pretty happy to be here. All their displays are pristine and crystal clean. So when you're running a service company and you're trying to show off your talents as taking care of aquariums, you really, really want to have your tanks clean. So they are nailing it here and i don't think there's a tank that has any algae on it every single one looks looks absolutely incredible so check this thing out i love these guys i want to take one of them home with me tonight they are freaking incredible if you have a deep sand bed and you got some macro algae they are cool to throw in your refugium so <laughs> yeah jack i will get back to you man don't worry so I already fragged them, I'll take care of you, and I'm holding on to those those leathers for you. But but these things are cool. So they look like, um, I want to say the ribbon eels, if I'm trying to think of what they're called, but they hide in the substrate, and they're really, really cool. But let's walk around. Let's see what else they got here. So we are in Chicago at Tank It Easy at Aquashella 2019 and we're just doing our tours. So those of you who are watching at the moment, Jack, thank you so much. It's a nasty, nasty rainy day out there. As you can see, the Corliss Mobile is outside and um, we parked illegally. So hopefully we don't get towed, but <laughs> it's raining. So I don't think we're gonna have an issue there. But look at these guys. Colorado Sunburst. This is one of my favorite, favorite all-time anemones. Um, I got to get another one of these. I just lost mine. I'm pretty upset. When I moved over from the house to the store uh, about six months ago, I lost my Colorado Sunburst, and I need to get another one. The colors are just stunning. And it looks like they have some other interesting corals here. So I don't have my lens on the front, so there is a lot of blue at the moment. It is the end of the day and you're getting a chance to look at all these corals without the filter. But this, this um, it looks like a bleeding apple scoli. It is um, stunning. Very healthy, very puffy, very full of color. And you can't go wrong with those pieces. I'm a big scoli fan. And it looks like they have a bunch of wellzos, um, these meat corals, and a few other things here. There's some trachees. Each one of these pieces is absolutely incredible. And this is a pretty big display. Just pop open the bottom here too if you want. Oh, nice. Keep it simple. Keep it pretty simple. Even look at that. Even a little water spot. You know, got to fill up those ATOs. I, I was just telling everybody how incredibly clean your tanks are here at your store. We try to. It is insane. Having a store myself, I know how hard it is to keep the tanks clean, and that. we all bust our butts. Um, taking care of everything. So that's how we're kind of lucky here. You know, we always have somebody kind of on staff here to do it. You know, we don't need a controller. We keep it pretty simple. Uh, I do quite a bit of testing usually every Wednesday and Sunday. We just do simple Fritz to start A and B. That's all we do. We put it on a doser, run one time a day. You know, all you, everybody knows all you need is a big protein skimmer and a refugium. And that's the outcome of that. So yeah, this tank is really simple. gorgeous. Man hours. And this is a actual custom setup. This is one of their own. Uh, the wood canopy is incredible. Built in house by our in house carpenter. Very nice, yeah. Having a carpenter do all this work here on site is absolutely incredible because the craftsmanship is stunning and it, it shows. So, those of you who are true hobbyists, uh, Jack, you definitely want to check this out. Absolutely. So. And if you guys want to pop up in the top too, I'll change up the color lights here to a, a little bit warmer temperature, not so blue, but. Uh, we don't have the T5s on right now, but we do have this on a hybrid structure here. So we have uh, three XR30 Pros, Gen 4s, on the hybrid structure with the four T5s. And we only run those T5s maybe maybe three hours a day, so not too long. You know, a lot of LPS in here. We're not pumping acros out of here or anything. So 
not a ton of need for it, but we do like to showcase it and it does look stunning. Yeah, the mixed reef setup, I actually love the T5s with those LEDs. Uh, it's a perfect combination, guys, to get everything you need for a mixed reef. And it is stunning. If you see these anemones, it is out of control. And the fish look like they are <laughs> waiting to be fed. They're just sitting here waiting for us. But this is an awesome setup. I'm always a big fan. And this is an acrylic. So the visibility on the acrylic tanks is, I, I want to say, unmatched by any glass aquarium. This thing looks crystal clear. It's almost invisible to the naked eye. And it looks like you can just touch the corals when you reach out. So, like I said, they have their store cleaner and crisper than any place that I've been to in a long time. So, it's <laughs> pretty evident just by looking at these tanks around here. So, what'd you find out, Eric? Anything good? Uh, all kind of cool stuff. <laughs> and you can tell by looking at corals. When you guys are shopping for corals, when you see the tissue this fluffy and this puffy, you know right away it's a good catch. So... All these A cans over here are absolutely stunning, and they're gonna have a booth at Aquashella, and you guys will get to follow us along and check that out as well. So we will make sure we have our filter on tomorrow, and you guys aren't swamped by the blue light. But these pieces are incredible. <laughs> yeah. So. I honestly don't think I've seen water this crystal clear. No, you bump into that. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these Wilsonis. I used to collect the rainbow Wilsonis, and these things always turn into a gem. You take care of them, you'll see so many different colors as they grow out. Uh, absolutely, guys. He just hooked me up with the polyp lab. This is the lens. And these things are great for your cell phones for taking out a good photography. First generation, non-polarized. Oh, nice. We do have both for sale. First one I grab. Look at that. It's like night and day. All of a sudden, that blue disappears, and you get crisp, clean color. So check out your Paul Lab uh, cell phone lenses. So if you guys come to Tank It Easy, I'm sure they'll have them available for you. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe I can get myself a Colorado Sunburst tomorrow. I am um, definitely in the market for an anemone. So, this store is like prime location. What are you looking at, Eric? Yeah, they have some cool rocks here. These are some beautiful zoanthids. And when they're nice and full and they cover a rock like that, you really get a good look of the coloration and how they feel. And it's just stunning. When you have one zoanthid, if you guys buy like a little frag, it's nothing, but when you get a rock that size and it's completely covered, it's just a good feeling. So, and this tank over here, check it out. This is like a rimless tank, and watch, watch, you ready? I don't know if you guys can see that. There's water running down this tank. So, it's one of those rimless zero edge tanks, and there's water running in there, which is pretty cool. The only problem with I say with a tank like this is you probably have algae growing on both sides of the glass. So, I'll have to ask them how it is to clean this thing. But, like I said, they do a good job. Everything here is pristine. And there is a bathroom tank up top. Like, this thing is gorgeous. So, check it out. You want to go in here, you want to use the bathroom, right? All right. <laughs> they got a tank up top here. It is just super cool, super chill. Look at that. They got a skylight in here. The nice brick. This is just an awesome great ambiance for bathroom so if anybody's looking around you need a fish tank in your bathroom seriously tank it easy chicago check it out <laughs> we love we love it here so that's that i just wanted to give you guys the quick update um and like i said we're gonna go back to aqua shell later on oh yeah that thing's freaking massive and they have a little bit of everything in here and like I said, they're a wonderful maintenance company. So if you guys are in the Chicago area, feel free, look them up, check them out, and they will take great care of you. So, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up while I'm live, and I can make sure I answer them for you guys. One of the things a lot of people don't notice about our shop as well is all of the, all of the curtains are automatic. <laughs> the lights on this thing are automatic with only the off feature as well as those pneumatic timers. So at about 11 o'clock, the lights are off right here in Wrigleyville. 
So we get all the game day traffic after the games. Everybody sees the blue. Everybody <laughs> wants to know what's going on. I don't know if you guys seen the outside of the store, but we have eels painted out there. We have a shrimp painted out there. We have a porcupine puffer painted on the side of there. So we really do attract a lot of attention. If you saw George's newest video, you'd see the 20 foot octopus on top of our tank, on top of our building as well. So always something going on over here at Tank and Easy. That's right. That's one of the reasons why we came out here was because of George. Uh, he recommended we come over here while we were in the area. And guys, he couldn't steer us wrong. This place is absolutely incredible. So those of you who made the trip here for Aquashella, why not make the trip out and come see Tank It Easy? This place is incredible. And there's so much more to see, but can't fit it all in one video. So you guys are going to just have to stay tuned for more. But thank you so much for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time. Anything else you want to throw in before we kick them off? Take it easy. <laughs> Thanks, guys.